Hello, and thank you for joining me for this brief demonstration of the Sanford Guide Collection mobile app. My name is Rudy Ize, and I'm a sales representative here at Sanford Guide. I'm going to walk you through a few of the features that can be found in our apps. Please note that additional info can be found on our website. The Collection app is available for iOS, Android, and Windows 10. It is very important to ensure that you are downloading the appropriate app from the App Store. The Collection app is red and white, just like the icon you see here on my screen. There are various other apps available from Sanford Guide, but the red and white app that says Collection is the one that you want. Once you open the app and log in, you will see this screen here. Your Sanford Guide Collection app only needs internet connectivity for the initial registration and download, syncing your Sanford Guide cloud data, and your daily content updates. I'll be doing this demo moving from the top to the bottom of the screen. Beginning at the top, you can see that we can navigate content via a variety of menu options or the search feature. We'll begin with the search feature. We can enter anything in the search bar. For example, I'll start typing vancomycin. You see the results start populating as I type and you will notice that the icons on the screen indicate the type of content that is available. A pill is a drug, a grid is a calculator or a table or tool, a sheet of paper indicates that there is general inform information available on the topic, a hospital or your institution's logo indicates that there is content from your institution's stewardship assist content which we will touch on more in depth later. The small pathogen indicates a pathogen, the lightning bolts indicate a syndrome, and the shield represents prevention and prophylaxis. So I'm going to start and go ahead and tap on the vancomycin page. Navigating to this content page, we can see that there is a stewardship alert for vancomycin. This is indicated by the underlined CGMC tab at the top of the page. CGMC stands for County General Medical Center and it is a fictional institution that we have created for demonstration purposes. Of course, if your institution was a Sanford Guide with Stewardship Assist client, your institution's logo and initials would be at the top of this page. The Stewardship Alert indicates that our institution has guidelines available for vancomycin. Scrolling down, I can look at these guidelines, and we'll always want to look at our institution's guidelines first before heading to the Sanford Guide content page. Tapping on Sanford Guide tab at the top of the page, we can easily access the Sanford Guide vancomycin content. You can navigate this through scrolling. Alternately, we can press the Contents button at the top of the page, and a drop-down menu will appear so that we can navigate to the each appropriate section faster. Please note that all Sanford Guide content is fully linked to external resources, and there are also internal links to Sanford Guide content as well. Scrolling back to the top of the page, we can see here on the right that we have two additional icons. There is both a posted note and a bookmark icon. This is the Sanford Guide Bookmarks and Notes feature. You can add your own bookmark or note to any Sanford Guide content page. I can tap on the note icon at the top and enter a sample text and I will hit save. And my note will always appear first at the top of the screen. All notes and bookmarks are saved in the Sanford Guide cloud. So all your notes and bookmarks will be available across all of your devices with the Sanford Guide Collection app installed. We can also access our bookmarks by hitting our bookmarks button at the bottom of the screen for speed of access. We can go ahead and hit Ceftriaxone and we will see that we have our custom note first thing on top of the screen. Returning to the home screen by hitting the house icon on the top of the screen you will see that the content is divided into various topics, syndromes, pathogens, drugs, prevention, HIV, and hepatitis. Unlike the Sanford Guide books, in the Collection app, most content is organized by topic rather than table. However, looking further down the screen, you will see that we also have quick links available. Several of the most popular tables and tools that we have are available through quick links. While we have put the high usage items available here, you can also hit the All Tables and Tools button in the center of the screen 
and you will be taken to a menu with the rest of the sample guide tables. There are plenty of tables and tools to unpack, but for the sake of time today, we'll just be highlighting some feature items. We'll begin by hitting the Drug Usage and Dosing table, and as you can see, we get a drop-down menu, and there are several options to pick from. I'll go ahead and hit Pediatric Dosing. You will notice that our drugs are listed on the left-hand side of the screen, while the dose is in the center and the maximum is on the right. Instead of scrolling, we can also use the search feeder feature by hitting the smaller magnifying glass on the upper right. And we can search this specific title table and filter our results. If we want to search for a specific drug, for instance, I'll start typing meropenem. And you will see the links pop up and we can press those links to take us to the drug pages. Returning to the Tables and Tools menu, another table I wanted to highlight today is our Pharmacology table. There's a lot of information on this table, and you will see that there are also view links listed next to each drug. We can tap on those and additional information will populate on the screen. Finally, navigating back to our Tables and Tools menu, I would like to highlight some of our calculators. We have a number of calculators available, Pediatric Dosing, Colistin Dosing, Creatinine Clearance, and most recently added, our new Vancomycin AUC24 calculator. Please note that this calculator is based off of the trapezoidal model. So we will begin by entering our data, and we start with the dose. In our dosing interval, you will see that we have a scrolling menu here at the bottom where we can pick our time interval. We'll pick 12 hours. Duration of infusion, set at one hour. Peak vancomycin concentration. Time from start of infusion to measurement of peak concentration. We will set at one and a half hours. Measured vancomycin trough concentration. Enter 12 and time from start of infusion to measurement of trough concentration. Enter 11 and a half hours. Once we have all of our data, we hit calculate. As you can see, in this instance, our result has landed outside of the target range, so I may want to consider an adjustment, and I have been given the opportunity to do that here below. We can enter some new data. and you'll see that the revised results populate as I've entered the data below. The results from the vancomycin calculator can be also be copied as plain text, so you can copy this data and paste it into your healthcare IT app or EHR app if you're running it on the same tablet, for instance. We just hit the copy results as plain text button, and jump over here, and for the sake of this demo, we will pretend that this is our EHR app. All we have to do is paste, and here you see our results are pasted as plain text. Navigating back to the Sanford Guide calculator, we also have the uh, option to adjust dosing here again at the bottom. And finally, we can hit Show Calculations if you'd like to see how Sanford Guide arrived at the above conclusion. So here we have the equations that brought us to our conclusion. Again, we can copy results as plain text, navigate to our EHR, and paste them. And here you will have the equations also pasted in plain text. Here at the bottom of the screen, we also have a link to a AUC Dosing Fundamentals and Calculations page. This gives us a more in-depth look at how the Sanford Guide Vanco calculator arrived at the conclusion it did and some of the metadata behind that conclusion. Returning to the home screen by using the home button at the top left, I would like to direct your attention to the County General Medical Center button at the bottom. The Sanford Guide Collection app supports the Stewardship Assist functionality of Sanford Guide, which is a custom solution designed to allow hospitals and institutions to host their own antibiograms and guidelines on the Sanford Guide platform. 
Sanford Guide with Stewardship Assist consists of three primary tools, an institutional directory, the ability to host local antibiograms, and the ability to add stewardship alerts to any Sanford Guide content page. You may recall that we saw a stewardship alert functionality back on the vancomycin page. The icon you see here on the home page takes us to our customized institutional directory. If I click on that icon, it will take me into the guidelines specific to my institution, and I can also access my institution's antibiograms from this menu. So if I tap on the antibiogram, and I will proceed to the gram-negative inpatient antibiogram for our fictional institution. So instead of seeing the Sanford Guide Spectra of Activity, which is qualitative data, we have quantitative data contingent on our hospital's guidelines. If I tap on any specific interaction, it is going to show me the Sanford Guide recommendation related to that interaction on top, along with any facility-specific data that we have for that interaction. We can also tap on the drugs and bugs populated at the top of this box, and it will take us to those pages directly. If, on the other hand, you would like to look at the Sanford Guide Spectra of Activity from this page, you can hit the Add All button in the upper left, and then we would hit the drop-down menu to add the Sanford Guide Spectra of Activity dataset. We hit Done, and here we have the Sanford Guide Spectra of Activity. Returning again to the home screen, I want to briefly touch on the buttons that you see across the bottom of the page. We'll be going from left to right. The Guide button takes us back to the home screen from any Sanford Guide content page. The Bookmarks button, which we briefly touched on earlier, will take us to the list of notes and bookmarks that we have. The Recent button will take us to a list of all pages that we have visited recently. The Calculators button will take us to the list of calculators, which we also saw earlier. And finally, we have the Accounts button, which will take us to the account screen, which will give us information about our personal Sanford Guide account. If your Sanford Guide collection app access is provided by your hospital, or if your institution is a Sanford Guide with Stewardship Assist client, then that will be apparent at the top of this screen. Starting at the top, we can see that we are signed in as cgmc at sanfordguide.com, which would be your email address for your institution. Next line down, we see when our subscription is due to expire. Looking down further, we can see that our subscription is to Sanford Guide Collection and that we are using version 4.2.8. This number may have changed by the time you watch this video, so please do always make sure that you're running the latest version of the app. Looking down further, we will see the date of our most recent content update. Sanford Guide typically issues content updates every day. So today is 1028, and we can see that that is when the app was last updated. If we weren't using the most recent version, we would also see the option to download here. We have a log out option. The log out option does delete your local content and frees up an activation that could be used on another device. If you're trying to download the collection app and you receive an error message which states that you are out of activations, you would want to make that change here. You could also go to the account.sanfordguide.com page, log in with your username and password, click on your subscription, and you will be given the option to turn off access to older devices that you may not be using anymore. Scrolling down to the bottom, we can see that we have a number of toggle preferences as well. Anonymous usage data is exactly what it sounds like. We collect data from your app usage, but we are not able to trace that data back to you. This just gives us usage information which helps better inform, for instance, which tools and pages we list as quick links. Again, this data being collected is minimal and totally anonymous. The next option is individual data usage, which non-anonymously stores your data on the Sanford Guide Cloud. You could then log in and view or download this at any time. Next we have Allow Downloads Over Cellular Data, which will always be in the off position by default. Please be advised that these updates can be sizable. If you do decide to turn on Downloads Over Cellular Data, you may be using quite a bit of data. The next toggle is Receive Mailing List, which is self-explanatory. We do have a mailing list and we send out a maximum of one email per month. 
Typically, the emails are about discounts or product releases. We do not share our mailing list with any other party. Our last item here is content text size, which is a new feature. The default is set to medium. However, if you prefer smaller or larger text, you can tap on that and you will see a menu with the options here. Please be aware that this preference is not shared across multiple devices, so you will have to set your preference on all of your devices hosting the collection app. And that concludes our demo for the Sanford Guide collection app. If you ever have any questions, you can tap on the button at the upper right corner of the screen with the three lines in the circle and tap on the feedback option. This will send an email to Sanford Guide Tech Support. You can also ask editorial questions as well. They will be forwarded on from tech support to our editorial board. The help button will also give you contact information for Sanford Guide should you ever need to get in touch with us immediately by phone. I would like to thank you for your time and attention in watching this demo and thank you for your support of Sanford Guide.